Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the Yustin Z Gunnel ZC12025 ARGB. And uh, this one's called the Tears of the Moon God. And it's a little bit uh, of an interesting story with this. So the fan looks like this. <clears throat> now, if you've been really, really paying attention, which me would mean you're an exceptional fan fan, you would remember that I previously reviewed a Yustin Ziagonal or Ziagonal like um, fan with the same model number, the uh, Cherry Pupil, this one. And I was just going to do a very short video of the Tears of the Moon God because looking at a lot of the specs, they are identical. <clears throat> now, that doesn't mean they're like totally identical, but it means to a large degree they are identical. And, and it's just, just a little bit irritating because... The truth is, is as far as I can tell, they used the same mechanism um, and they used a different um, frame and stuff. So let me show you what I mean here. So first of all, we can see that the frame itself is quite different. And we can also see this one, the lighting comes from two spots. There's this ring around the outside and then there's the ones in here. This one has a uh, double ring. <clears throat> and there are, I don't recall, but I don't think there are any lights from in the middle. But we will take a look and try to figure out the, the truth of this situation. Keeping in mind, of course, that this is the one that we are reviewing. So let me go ahead and plug this in. I wish they would have used a different model number. I don't uh, also understand why they no longer offer the Cherry Pupil on their website, even though it comes on some of their other products. So this is what it looks like. And I'm sorry, there, I thought there was a ring around the outside, but there's not. So it's just that middle ARGB. Now let's just add in, for comparison's sake, we will add in the other one. So we can see, I don't know, which one do you like better? Please write in the comments your preference. I'll even make that easier to see. For me personally, I am inclined to say that I prefer the old one over the new one. But, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different preferences. Um, so what do you think? Do you prefer the old model, the Cherry Pupil, or the new model, the Tears of the Moon God? Now, name-wise, obviously, Tears of the Moon God, that's pretty cool. And I like, you know, visually, both have an interesting decal on the hub. This one is, you know, like a star. And this one is floral. But I think given a choice if I were going to buy only one I would I would get this the old one so now you've seen the visual difference oh I guess I could show you the back end which is less Im impressive I think for the uh, Tears of the Moon God
Now this fan does come with both regular uh, fan bolts and radiator bolts. And I've got it all set up. And I'm even going to compare it to the Cherry Pupil. So we got it at low speed. Not very loud, pretty quiet. There's a low pitch. And that pitch has moved up to be uh, medium. Now, as far as the static pressure is concerned, there isn't a lot. It's uh, a bit less than one, I would say. And I suppose you're probably curious as to the difference in the sound. And there is a difference. I did test. Now, to me, this one has a higher pitch to it than the Cherry Pupil, and it is making a medium hum that I do not hear in the Cherry Pupil. Or, ra or maybe it's just that it's much more subdued in this fan. And it's got the same static pressure and, and airflow. It's just that there is... I feel that the Tears of the Moon God are, is slightly noisier, <clears throat> especially because it has a higher pitch, and that can be a deciding factor for some people. I don't know how you feel about it, but um, if you are looking at getting an AIO from Z uh, Yustin Ziegenal, I would point out to you that they have both of these fans on their AIOs. Now, if you can save a substantial amount of money over, say, one of the other ones that do not use these, and these are their low end in, my, in terms of performance, these are the low end fans that they put on some of their AIOs. And um, I would say that if you can get the better fans, like on the Zeus line of AIOs, I would say go for that instead because it is going to give you better fans for the same price. Now, if you can get the, um, the AIOs that have these fans on them for a lot less and when I looked on the Yustin Ziegenol site it wasn't a lot less they do currently have uh, a bit of a sale $10 off um, but it was the price between the cheapest and the most expensive if I remember qu correctly was uh, 30 or $40 difference and I'm I am not at this time, you know, like vouching for the um, Zeus, but looking at the specs of the Zeus, and given that one of the uh, two, no two I think of the Zeuses offer at least a basic LE LCD screen um, that shows temperature, and one of them offers customizable. That's the most expensive one. I think at 120, if I remember correctly. You have to look for yourself. You know, so 
is it going to be a high performer? No, I don't really think that this brand has gone for the trying to compete with the heavy hitters. I think it's more gone for the niche market or niche market of having a certain visual appeal. I don't think they've quite captured it in the way that, I mean, yeah, sure, they've got these fancy sides on the frame, but still, I mean, so what? Um, I think there's, honestly, I liked the, visually, I liked the, um, the Zeus fans better. And they come in different, I think three different color schemes. Um, and just for, just for something different, you know, from the, the vast majority of what's out there, I was, uh, much happier with those. And, um, so yeah, let's, um, so what can we use this fan for? Well, a case fan, that's it. I mean, it doesn't have enough power really for a decent air cooler. Um, so you'd be losing performance if you use these fans on a cooler. And certainly not on a water cooler. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. Okay. All right, the Yustin Ziegenal or Shenzhen Ying Yi Laksun Industry Company Limited. Sorry, guys, I slaughtered that. Or the ZC120, oh, sorry, 120-25 ARGB Tears of the Moon God. And you can see the old one right up above. It's also called the Sakura Fan. And... Um, so you can follow along as to what's different and what's the same between these two. And um, we'll go from there. So actually, let me fix that one. So the, the, the um, Tears of the Moon God is actually cheaper. It's down to ten dollars, whereas the Cherry Pupil was fifteen dollars. Um, the Cherry, neither of them have certifications. Made in China, one hundred twenty by twenty-five millimeters, ARGB unknown compatibility. I mean, obviously, it's working with my ASUS, but they don't state what the compatibilities are. One hundred forty-five uh, grams versus the one hundred sixty of the Cherry Pupil. Nine blades, 105 millimeter mounting holes, distance between them. 100 um, RPMs lower than the Cherry Pupil, or the minimum, and the maximum is the same. 10% plus or minus. 59.4 <coughs> is the same. This is the same, and it's, you know, it's obviously it's not 1.75. Um, same noise level 51 or this one actually was a half a centimeter shorter for the cable um i don't know why i marked this as an oh wait that's right it doesn't have that so the um argb cable is a little bit longer and uses pwm and standard argb hydraulic bearings 12 volts, but they don't share with us any of the other information. So we know that the fan is 12 volts. We know that the ARGB is 5 volts, and that's it. They won't. It's and I, that really irritates me. Um, for the Cherry Pupil, it did show you some of the information about uh, directional flow and rotation. It turns in a clockwise direction, but although the Tears of the Moon God does too, it doesn't show the information. And um, get actually, anyways, get the screws, get the corner cushions. Thank you to Grindler, aka Lawrence Abrams, who is the owner of Bleeping Computer, for consenting to allow me to. 
put my results in text form on Bleeping Computers forums, as well as linking to my videos. Please visit Bleeping Computer, support them, make use of them. It's, they're a valuable resource that's been around for 20 years, and they deserve support. They have lots of resources. Um, you can learn about cybersecurity from them. You can get help with uh, malware on your computer. You can get help with all kinds of stuff. They have a, a range of volunteers uh, who help people who come there for advice, and they're very knowledgeable people for the most part, and some of them are very, very, very helpful. Old Sod has been uh, very helpful to me over the years uh, that I have asked for input on uh, things. And so thank you to Bleeping Computer. Thank you to the volunteers on Bleeping Computer. Also, thank you to my peers on other tech forums who are so kind as to provide me with input, uh, suggestions, feedback, and so on. Uh, I really appreciate it, but my greatest thanks goes out to Bleeping Computer because you are my text home, I guess you could say. All right, thanks also to all my viewers and subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.